recent nationwide study has revealed the different ways in which Irish couples wreck each other's heads. Top irritating behaviours include stacking the dishwasher the wrong way, using a metal utensil on a non-stick pan, and buying shit from Aldi you don't need. On today's programme, we'll be focusing on the behaviour that has completely topped the polls, and that is standing over your partner's shoulder and making annoying hooking comments on how they are cooking the evening meal. Well, as a psychologist, I would be very aware of this behaviour. Only recently, the WHO actually recognised it as a disorder. It's called helicopter cooking. It's essentially a control issue. So like one person had volunteered to make the dinner and the other person cannot renege control and they just keep going in and out of the kitchen, hovering over the other person and making really annoying comments like, that's not the way I'd make the steaks. Or would you not use butter instead of olive oil? Or the really annoying comment. Do I smell burning? This disorder can manifest itself in many different ways like turning the heat down on the cooker as soon as the other person has left the room, moving the meat to a different shelf in the oven, or seasoning the food as soon as the other person has turned their back. We went out and about to talk to other people about their experience with this behaviour. Yes, I would definitely be guilty of helicopter cooking, but I have to say I'm getting better and better now. Like he's over there cooking the dinner and I haven't gone near him. <laughs> now having said that, um, he's got the rice on now for the last 35 minutes and everyone knows it only takes 10 or 12 minutes actually written on the fucking package, you know what I mean? But anyway, we'll let that go. It'll be fucking mush, but we'll let it go. Well, what happens here, you see, is I like to peel the potatoes using this knife, right? This knife. Now, that sends him over the edge. Oh, yeah. He thinks I should peel the potato using the potato peeler. All right. Why is that? Oh, because apparently I lose most of the potato when I do it this way. Okay. Can I see the potato? Yeah. People need to be aware of the dangers of helicopter cooking. It was just a normal Saturday afternoon. Uh, me and my fellow were at home. I was cooking the dinner. And that's when it happened. When what happened? He tried to tell me how to strain pasta. I mean, there's only one way to strain pasta. Everybody knows that. All prisoners, back in their cells, please. I take full responsibility for my actions. I know I shouldn't have thrown that colander. Some couples have even turned to marriage counselling to help them deal with this problem. No, it's just every time I cook broccoli, he comes in and, and tells me I'm overcooking it. Not every time. Yes, every time. Well, I like it with a bit of a crunch in it. You literally put it into boiling water for about three seconds and call it cooked. It's called blanching. It's called trying to eat the branch of a tree. Ah, oh, look, this counselling isn't working. It's a waste of money. Yeah. That's all from us this evening. But if you've been affected by any of the issues discussed in the programme this evening, or you are a victim of helicopter cooking, please call our helpline or log on to www.imcookingthedinner.com.